Without a doubt, social media has changed my life. I'm able to be on my phone at home, scrolling through the feed, and I'd see, oh my God, look at this before and after picture. Like literally like ordering from a McDonald's menu. You're able to pick what services you want to try. There's Botox, there's filler, there's cheek lift, there's thread lift, there's breast lift. It's never ending. I had a huge bump on my nose. It made me very insecure. And I had seen that you can get your nose fixed with filler. I immediately booked an appointment. My lips were a huge insecurity for me as well. As soon as I got that one syringe in my lips, it changed my life. It gave me confidence. I felt like people weren't just focusing on that bump in those little paper thin lips of mine. I was so floored by the amazing transformation that I decided to create my own beauty bar and I'm a college dropout. I have had chin filler, Botox in my forehead. I have had cheek filler, shots here to contour my face. I've had the slimming shots to contour here and to melt the fat. There's no shame in my game. <laughs> the most requested look for the fox eyes is the Bella Hadid fox eye thread lift. I tried it myself and I'm close to 40. Social media has completely normalized all these treatments. Back in my day, when people were getting Botox, they were very like, hush, hush about it. I thought it was taboo. And that's that's why I love social media. I tell everyone that beauty starts from within. But if something bothers you, you fix it. I did. It made me happier. Social media is highly addictive. The algorithm is designed to make you think, oh, I do not measure up. I need to figure out how I can fix myself. My twin sister, Lexi, and I both realized that we had really been affected by media representation of women's bodies. Social media really magnifies that problem by giving a platform to ask other people to value and validate your looks. Studies show that Instagram has been overwhelmingly negative in the way women think about their bodies. Many women admit to photoshopping and editing their own photos, using filters whenever possible. It's actually causing us real harm. Filters seem really fun and innocent, but we recommend that people avoid them because it changes your perception of your own face. It's not good for your body image. My sister and I were both taking a course in media literacy. We got PhDs studying body image and media representation of women's bodies. And we spent about the last 10 years traveling around the country doing speaking engagements. We are working to redefine not just the look of beauty, but its meaning and value in our lives. We had felt like we needed to write a book. Together, we feel like we have crafted a message and a book that it's resonated really strongly with people. We want the world to know that your body is an instrument, not an ornament. People feel bad about their bodies, and social media makes that much worse. Now, Fatima, your, your point is, if there's something about yourself you don't like, and it's fixable, it's changeable, and you have the means to do it, then why not do it? Yeah, of course. Why um, not? If it makes you happy. Is there anything that you wouldn't do? Uh, Surgery-wise? Yeah, to, to make a change. I mean, I feel like I pretty much did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, enhanced a whole bunch of things, and I don't think that there's anything that I really wouldn't do unless it's safe. Like, I wouldn't break a bone to yeah. enhance something. You made a point that there was a time when people would be secretive about that, like oh, sneak yeah. around to get Botox Ooh, or something. Yeah. But you're Myself saying, included. what's the point? Why would you hide it? I feel like a long time ago, it was such a taboo to have all these things done. And of course, everyone in Hollywood does it. Everyone in the TV and the movies, they do it, but they're hush hush about it. Yeah. Um, so I had super paper thin lips when I was like, when I was younger. And the first time I've ever received fillers was when I was 20, 21. I had my lips done. I was made fun of for having paper thin lips. And even though I was a beautiful girl, I just didn't want people to constantly point out my flaw. As soon as I did it, it made me immediately feel better and I felt more secure. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.